Hey everybody, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to the channel. First up, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the 1,000 subscribers. We finally hit 1,000. Oh my gosh, it's taken forever and a day. But I want to thank you very kindly for that. Um, we're going to play a scenario here that I found out about um, on Monday or Tuesday. I can't even remember which day it was, uh, where uh, Matrix did their big thing. And this is part of an, of an upgrade to Panzer Corps II. This particular scenario kind of fits in with uh, all the stuff I've been playing with, uh, with uh, the Ardennes Offensive that I've been playing. And they also talked about a lot of other games. Now, I full disclosure, I played a few turns of this and was crushed i mean this is a tough scenario i'm talking tough so uh we're we're gonna leave that right there i should probably put it here but we'll leave it there and see what happens and uh <clears throat> here's what this scenario is basically is it's the eh, towards the end of the battle of the bulge second armor second panzers are cut off the panzer leers down there and they've decided they need to send some and some troops into the bulge to help get the Panzer Lear out. Yeah, bad idea. <laughs> go. If, if the last playthrough I did is anything to go by, that's a really bad idea. But anyway, one of the uh, good news on the Matrix front is that next year, Valor and Victory will have two DLCs coming out. They will be adding in mortars, off-map artillery, and air support. So that's going to be a, a great addition to this game. And I'm really looking forward to those two. I think one's coming out in January or maybe February. So here we go. Okay, so the end of the bulge, we have to escort four Panzer Lair units to the escape hexes. Here they are. Uh, we'll go. Yeah, you notice this is a challenging scenario. Boy, oh boy, is it. Um, and the Americans have broken out or uh, they're breaking out of the encirclement at Bastogne. Here's Panzer Lear right here. These guys up here are second Panzer. And then I told you kind of everything. So we're just this briefings kind of Mickey Mouse. So yes, yeah, so we got the allies pushing in here and we've got them pushing there and they're surrounded the second Panzers and they are pounding them and they're pushing here. So basically the entire bulge is collapsing and uh we're supposed to well i and you are coming with me my friends yes indeed <laughs> like it or not uh to pull some of the panzer lair units out now they they did they designated at least four i don't know which are the four quickest ones but unfortunately i think this would be one of the quicker ones and they're way back here so we'll see what we can do um so deploy your forces and join them immediately here at the town of Berberay, whatever it is. Panzerlayer is taking a bit of damage, blah, blah, blah. So there you go. So and I love how this ends. Our gamble in the Ardennes may not have been the victory that we sought. Uh, pardon me, sir. There's no may not have been in there. <laughs> Sorry. But now we must ensure it does not become a defeat we can no longer afford. By sending in more units to die than are going to die right now. There's a brilliant plan, if ever there was one. Okay, so these are all the deployed guys. And again, no, I can't get any further zoomed out than that. But again, you can you can see that they, they're, they're, they're coming in at St. Vith and at Viadin to cut off the bulge here. Over here, they're driving in to Manhay. And then you've got Hofeliz and you've got Bastogne. So there's another way they can cut you off. So clearly things are not going well. And this says it's German, but there's nobody in there. So will it be German for long? Because look at all the allied units. All right. So we've got 7,200 um, units. And um, I don't... Can I fix these guys... I don't know if I can fix these guys or not. Let's see. No. Just mine. All right. I'll have to save those for when the game actually starts. Okay. So um, clearly I'm going to want tanks. I'd love to get some Tiger 2s just to have fun playing with them. But 
I don't really think they're optimal for this situation, given how we need to move quickly. Now, the Panthers are fairly quick. Um, and I'm going to assume that these Panzer 4Js are as well. Um, yeah, we got Tiger 1. And we got the... That's interesting. I'm, hmm, okay. We got different kinds of Tigers to choose from. So I'm going to uh, overstrength the, him. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is messing up tonight. And purchase him. Now, where can we... I want to deploy as far east as they'll let me, which is not very far. That's the town I'm supposed to gather at. We don't want to be there. We want to be as far this way as possible. So I'm putting as many of my guys as I can out here. Um, yeah, it's second panzers. Uh, what else can we do here? We're probably... I need more tanks. Uh, and they need to be kind of quick. So I'm... <sighs> All right, let's get another panther. Let's just bring him up to there. And we'll put him there as well. We are going to have to buy some other kinds of stuff, though. Um, might be good to have some anti-tank weapons. The Allies are going to have a freaking ton of... Uh, of uh, tanks that we're going to be dealing with for sure. So this is the Pack 44. It's 340. It's it's cheaper. Um, but it's not very well armored, obviously. The Martyr, no. Um, I like these guys, but they're kind of slow too. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Let's, um, well, that's an 88. You know, why not? Why not go with an old favorite? And put you, actually, let's put him here. Maybe he can hold Bure as we pull these guys out. And use that as, um, I don't know, I've got 5218, so um, you're not fast either, probably, but we're going to get you six 600. Wait a minute, what's a Panther cost? 740. Okay, so it is saving me some money, or whatever. And let's overstrength him just by one, and purchase... And let's put him here. See, we're going to have to deal with all this in a hurry. It's going to be a mess. Now, we're going to need infantry, too. Um, we don't want Volk's Grenadier. If we're going to have any infantry, they're going to have to be pretty tough. Really? We don't have Grenadiers uh, for 44. That seems odd, but okay. Let's... um. Yeah, let's get them. They are going to have to have some form of movement, and I hate to put them in trucks because there's just no protection there at all, and that's not that much more expensive. We'll overstrength them as well. Purchase and set up here. And go back. Ooh, we're just spending money like there's no tomorrow. Okay, we got 3,700 left. Um, I'm not wasting time on air because I just don't think artillery. Theoretically, it would be nice, but I, I think we're going to be moving, so I don't know how much use that's going to be. 
Any aircraft there? I think there's some on the board. So, and maybe a recon wouldn't be too bad. Um, do an old Panzer II Lux. Those I've always liked those. I, they were probably not liked that well by the people in them, but <laughs> you know. Oh uh, shoot! I should have put him on the road. Well, we'll put you right there, and I think we'll do one more. Buy, and that's it. The rest will leave for reinforcing units because we're going to need it. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Um, although maybe, would Pioneers be good to have? They probably would. What, I can't buy them? Oh, no. Okay, don't overstrength them. Still can't buy them. So am I filled up? Apparently, I'm filled up. So, okay. So, there you go. That's deployment phase. Uh, I thought I couldn't buy anymore. Maybe that's all the infantry's filled up. So, can I do more tanks then? I mean, I'd take one. Doesn't look like it. You I can get, but I don't want you. I can get... That, but not that. Ugh. And of course, yeah, obviously, I don't. Well, whoa, I could get a stork. No, no, thank you. Um, I don't really think these guys are what I want, but they're better than Volkstrom. So there you go. All right, that brings me down to 32, and that's going to do it. All right. First of all, let's look down here and see if we can't. See, the problem is if I strengthen him, then he, can he still move? Or can I move him and then strengthen him? Let's move him. Find out. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played the game. No. Yeah, that's not good. Uh... So if I strengthen you, then I can't move you. And I want to move you. We'll strengthen you next turn. I'm going to get these guys rolling because they don't have a lot of time. Um, yeah, we need to get these guys up here and support what's going on. What? Oh, I didn't. Oh, crud. Are you kidding? I thought they. Duh. All right. Well, then go in there. Because you're worthless to me otherwise. Um, uh, not you. What are you? Alright. Your pants are leer. I can't move you? What's going Wait. Here we go. Uh, let's get you moving. So we got to get four pants or leers at the very least. Um... You know, I can't get you out of the way, of course. Why would I get, be able to get anybody out of the way? Here. Just for now, we're going to put you up here. Gonna put you here. We're going to... Um, yes, let's bring you over here. And... Really? Wow, these tanks were in the way. Let's go ahead and pull back. And you, sir, are going to kind of stay there to guard. And over here, um, these guys look like they're in really good shape, but they're about to be mauled by the uh, by the Americans here. Um and just to show you the what I was running into, if you, look at that. To for this tank to attack this infantry is minus seven to minus one. If I bring them down here, it's it's equal on the tanks, and I get an advantage on those guys. But these guys, it's minus seven, minus one. What are these guys? Um. Hmm. So. I think maybe the best thing to do with uh, second Panzers 
is to just kind of sit and take it and fight it out. Because well, last time I tried to get them out, they didn't even get to Rochefort. I mean, they, they just were, there was no way that was happening. So you can tell they're going to take that, and I can't reach that. So um, I could come up here, and look at that. It's still 50-50. I have a panther, a panther tank unit attacking infantry of one sort or another. And it's basically, it's slightly more than 50-50, so it's like... Yeah, I don't know how, why are you? These are my, because I didn't, I thought I moved them. Didn't move you. Oh, well, now see if I had been paying attention, but I wasn't. Um, all right. Let's get you out here. Oops. All right. Got to lead the way here. Okay, it's what I thought. You've been moved. You've been moved. Yeah. Okay. Kind of screwed that up. Because uh, I just don't think it's worth trying to take these guys on. They're just going to, uh, like, wipe me out. Look at that. Even with the infantry. Yeah, it's like no win. I don't know if this is simulating their fatigue and lack of... Uh, of uh you know supplies but whatever it is look at that so we'll go ahead and hit these guys because why not there you go and we'll just kind of see what happens now down here uh, St. Vith, we know they're out there. We don't know who they are, but I'll tell you right now, they're not messing around. And I can't reinforce these guys. So that's a three, which is like, you know, nothing. And the same here, right? We can't, yeah, we can't reinforce. So all we can do is try to get there. I don't, I don't know why these, it says 31 turns. But I, because I don't think, I would love to see someone take 31 turns to uh, play this scenario because I think it will go a lot quicker. But let's find out. Here we go, guys. So, of course, the air power rolls in. It's always expected against the Americans. Open my lines. Lightning's flying in. And here we go. They're not wasting time. Hoffelis just fell. He was ravaged. They were ravaged. Almost none of my units can stand up to the allies in a fight. Almost none of them. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. That's one so far for us. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's not going to help much, but nothing I can do. We've got to get the Panzer Lair out if possible, and that's just the way it goes. That wasn't too bad. But look at that. Yeah, bam. So he was hurt pretty bad. Uh -oh. Look at that. Down to two. Boof. See, look at all this armor. It's just like... It is like your worst nightmare. Eh, that hurt. Well, 
everywhere we look, the Allies are just spilling into whatever is left of the bulge. And boy, howdy, are, are, the, are the Germans just taking it in the shorts. Look at that. So they're already up to the outskirts of Saintville. Yeah, that's really not going to help much. Yeah, go out there where you'll be totally surrounded and stay there because that will really help you. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? Do you really need 31 turns here? Wow, I don't know. Well, yeah, I do know. I don't think so. All right, so we've already got now the Americans like busting out all over, which is not good. Um, I can't. don't understand why I can't move him into the woods or up here, but I can't. So go down there and die. See if we can hold with that for a hot minute. Sure, why not? I don't even think it did what I thought it was going to do. Uh, all right. Okay, that's... Where's my Panzer Lear boys? Those are the ones that I want. Because they're what this is all about, so... I, if I don't have them, then I just don't have what I need, so... Dang it. I am not getting them out as fast as I need to. All right, Lux, come on. Really? I wanted you to get up further than that, but you're not getting there. I'd like to scout and see what they've got in there. But uh, a little late for that now, I guess. Stay there. Um, okay. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, he's he's going faster. That's all right. I can dig it. Seriously? Gosh, this guy is slow. He doesn't actually have any. Did I not give him any? Pro but in that case, he's going to stay in the back and die. He doesn't have anything to propel him. That's craziness. Alright, so my Panzer Lear guys are not where I want them to be. Nevertheless, um, we're going to push out this way. And see if... Oh, jeez, that's about to fall. Ugh. Um, let's bring you over here. See if maybe you can surprise somebody. Hey, I can actually hurt him just a teeny bit and not die myself, so that sounds okay. Um, yeah, bleh. this is such a mess. Can I do anything here? I doubt it. <laughs> Unbelievable how badly this thing is. I don't care. I gotta do something here. I'm not just gonna sit here all night and do nothing. Good. Good. Kill you. Worthless little twerp. Get over there and fight like a 
something. There you go. See there. Sure, it's all for nothing and we're all going to die, but... Eh. I can't even hurt him? Really? I've got Panzer 4Js firing on Sherman Fireflies and I get... N that doesn't sound right to me, but all right. Um, can this guy move? He can move back. You're going to die either way, so stay there. You get a little cover. Um, okay, up here, <laughs> there's really nothing I can do. I don't think. I can't reinforce these guys. Um... Because these are what? Those are Stuarts? Cromwells. Jeez, Cromwells. All right, let's see if this guy can do something against the Stuarts. Really? All right, well, better than nothing, I guess. Fine. Nothing to speak of. No, we're not doing that. Uh, okay, down here can't reinforce the oh I can good I'll do that oops now see there you go that's what we're talking about get something going for me all right, I like that. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. So, all right, let's let the allies go again. Oops. Kaboom. No, he lives. Amazing. Encircled. That's not good at all. They are just cleaning their clocks. Oh shoot! I, look at this. You notice how they turn the color and then they explode. All the armored units are doing that. It's like they're microwaved or parboiled and then they blow up. I don't know. It's Kind of cool to look at. You'd think that... Well, I guess 6 one that doesn't have the other ones. I like the smoke. I do like the smoke. That's it. Fight him. Fight him. Yeah, no, you... No, run away. There's nowhere to run. People just... That's it. Deal with it. And they're gone. And they're... They surrendered? Those little cowards. Another surrender? What? I am deeply offended by the lack of will of my soldiers to fight. Not that they care any at all, but there you go. There goes all the Allied planes. It's, ugh, that, that, that little rocket launcher thing the British have is pretty weird. It's just a trailer, and it moves around all by itself. It's a motorized rocket trailer. <laughs> I think they might want to work on the graphics on that just a little. It doesn't make any difference. But, you know. Oh, come on! Come on, you're the second Panzers, man. Second Panzers, first to surrender. That's your new catch line for the division. Hope you like that. 
Did somebody else surrender down there? Every time I hear that little doo 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 noise, I think. Uh, maybe not. Now! Ugh. Wow, this is going so bad. <laughs> Now you see what I said, what I meant when I said this is challenging. Holy smokes. Oh, man. I don't. I think you'd have to be a really good player to do anything with this from the German side. But anyway, there you go. We'll do more later. Let me know what you think if you want to see more of this. Uh, and thank you again so much for the thousand subscribes. Got lots of good stuff coming up next year. So we will stay tuned for that and look forward to a very good 20. 22 in wargaming so until next time this is the wargaming guy saying thanks for watching take care everybody and i'll see you later